Welcome to the MWR Podcast at Fort Carson. Welcome to the MWR Podcast. I'm here today with uh, Dan Dillaball, an instructor with the School for Family and MWR. Um, so Dan, yes. invaluable resource that I did not know about until I started working for MWR. Um, so the Imcom Academy, yes. um, the basic platform of instruction. Can you first explain what that is and the mission? And then we can go into the awesome details about it. Absolutely. Yeah. So the School for Family and MWR, it's actually, we're based out of Joint Base San Antonio, Texas, and uh, is where our actual physical schoolhouse is. And um, what we do is we not only have our physical schoolhouse, but we have a full online academy as well that is targeted for functional training for MWR employees. And so this goes all the way from your foundation level, um, kind of entry level type of trainings, all the way up to higher level leadership functional training. And so uh, how we do this is we have all sorts of a variety of different types of we have self-paced online learning uh virtual classes uh, especially during times of pandemic have <laughs> been very useful uh as well as residential classroom and then uh, we have members of my team that are on the service culture team that we are spread across the entire enterprise um, at the larger garrisons and then support some of the smaller garrisons and uh, what we do is we actually provide classroom trainings there at the garrison as well, as well as career coaching, um, uh, performance solutions support and consultation, and any kind of functional type of training that is needed and identified. So yeah. yeah, I know some of the trainings that you've given our team has been invaluable, just like, you know, the teamwork, the culture within teams is always different. You know, managers have different issues across the board. Um, and it's it's been really great to, to have that resource. I mean, I know a lot of outside entities, non-government, you know, have employees go for training, pick sure. their own. But I think it's been really valuable to see what is needed within the whole scope of the enterprise and teams even on a, a micro level. Um, and um, the biggest thing that I was also impressed with was um, it's an opportunity for you know self-paced learning as well and wanting to expand your own personal um, you know, repertoire of knowledge, um, whether you're seeking another position um, within, you know, the the NAF um, MWR entity, mm -hmm. um, or even just, you know, culturally understanding the military and even being Absolutely. a family member. And I love that 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 fa and family is included. Can you expand on? what opportunities that allows people. Absolutely. And I mean, that starts all the way with our initial foundation course that is open to everybody, a self-paced course, uh, online course, which is our Welcome to Family and MWR orientation. And that course actually goes all the way from what it means to be a member of the military. Um, it goes through, I mean, all the way down to who you salute and, you know, or who you don't salute in yeah. civilian, uh, or for our civilians, right? Um, all the way down to, I mean, uh, what happens at certain times of day with, you know, uh, the flag ceremonies and different mm -hmm. pieces like that, all the way to what MWR is and gives you a true understanding of what MWR is. But the beauty of what we do is it's not just for MWR employees. Mm -hmm. Um, it's definitely targeted for MWR employees and our trainings are very functional and functional focused. And so, but the beauty of it is, say we have spouses that are wanting to join MWR, to want to yeah. get in to MWR. Um, we have many spouses that uh, come on board with our CYS programs, right? Yeah. And so during that first six months to a year, there's a lot of learning curve going on. One, what MWR is just yeah. in general, right? As <laughs> yeah. many have experienced coming and on board. welcome to the army. Yeah, welcome to the army is a huge one, right? Yeah. And so the beauty of it is even our spouses that are not with us um, in MWR yet, but are ambitious to become MWR employees mm -hmm. can actually create an account. It's uh, 
an open site on uh, MW or sorry, it's uh, mcomacademy.com. And they can create their own account and start taking trainings before they're even employed with the MWR to help them out, one, to gain an understanding of what MWR is, what maybe CYS is, whatever division they might yeah. be interested in, but also to uh, start building their resume a little bit yeah. um, to help them out with making those lists on getting of their first job and their foot in the door with MWR, which is great. So yeah. they can hit the ground running with a little better comfort and confidence yeah. uh, when they come on board with us. So that's very yeah. exciting. Yeah, that's a good point because, yeah. you know, you're moving and my, my average of finding a job, you know, on the civilian side, it's about a year and a half, sure. you know, like you don't have the networking, the, the resources in each location, you've got to start over. Absolutely. And here's the opportunity you can already get in that networking and build that resume. And, and so, yeah, that's why I was like, what? This is awesome. I wish I would have known that <laughs> how many years secret, ago. Right? Yeah. 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 So hopefully we can get it out there and, you know, get some great team members on board. Yes. So is there any other um, aspects you, you wanted to touch on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so speaking of that piece, so um, one of the things with our MWR employees, it's also a full career progression planner, uh -huh. right? And within this uh, academy. And so we actually have what we call our PDP, which is our professional development program, which is every one of the positions in MWR has its own professional development program attached to it within the site, and okay. um, which actually lists all the comp seats that MCOM requires and the knowledge, skills, and abilities it takes to become considered competent oh, in that field. Awesome. And so the beauty of it is you can actually know exactly, uh, there's many jobs out there that mm -hmm. you kind of walk blind for a while. Yeah. Right. And you're trying oh, to yeah. figure out, <laughs> right? Uh, you try and figure out, am I doing this right? Yeah. Right. And sometimes you're constantly wondering, unless you have a lot of feedback coming in, mm -hmm. am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. Well, the beauty of the PDP or the professional development program, it actually lists all those CompSies and the KSAs, the knowledge, skills, and abilities um, that make up those CompSies. So everybody knows exactly what that, it basically the expectations for that position is. Ah. But also we go one step further to yeah. then offer trainings and um, let you know what trainings will help you build those KSAs and have direct links within that PDP so employees can or anybody can look at that specific comp and identify the right training that's going to yeah. give them that we recommend that will give them those uh, skills. And so they can self-pace on uh enroll in it some of them have prerequisites um yeah. as any school does right yeah and so because we do like to build our levels of education and so once they identify those ksas mm -hmm. the beauty of it is they can become more competent in the position that they're in right? yeah, and that's, that's awesome. what we're looking for and that's truly that service culture that yeah. we look for right is building that competency across the field so we can provide amazing service to our community, our military community. Yeah. And that's truly what it's doing. Um, but in addition, as you mentioned, that career progression piece. Oh, yeah. So not only can you look at your specific position that you're currently in in the comp C's, um that are expected of that position, you can also look at positions that you want to grow into. Oh, and awesome. see what the comp C's, um, of those positions are and the knowledge, skills, and abilities that it takes to be considered competent for that position. But mm -hmm. you can also start taking those trainings, those professional development opportunities in advance, right, to yeah. build your career, to build your resume, to better suit you, to be prepared for that position and better equipped on your resume to be able to apply for those positions. Oh, so yeah. it really helps out our M uh, MWR employees on being able to move up the chain with success. I'm a great example of that. I utilized that system uh, from the age of about 15 and wow. uh, worked my way up every rung of the chain throughout NWR That's all the awesome. way up to a headquarters position now where I get to mentor and coach uh, all MWR professionals across the entire enterprise, which is really exciting and share yeah. this information, which is, yeah, uh, I love. So yeah, well, you're teaching literally have gone through it right. and teaching it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So the system works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you made a good point that, you know, it's, 
is still based on like an educational system. And so I did notice that some of the opportunities do provide college credits. It's not just certificates on our end. It has value outside of the system as well. It does. It so. does. Um, all of our courses are accredited with ISET um, CEUs. And so uh, continuing education units. And so that's one beauty. So no matter what training you're taking um, or completing, you can actually get those continuing education units directly through us. Um, as well, we do have a um, surplus of different trainings that we have actually got fully ACE certified oh. for undergraduate level uh, college credit. And okay. so by completing those courses, they have a higher rigor to them. And um, most of the courses we do target towards our CYS and ACS programs, mm -hmm. uh, some in the business fields as well, just because those focus, those divisions actually require um, education degrees. Yeah, like management, business That's development. Right. And so like we try and focus on getting those ones certified to help out our professionals on maintaining those certifications or yeah. going for those bachelor's degrees. Um, but the beauty of it is once you take those, you can actually request a um, official transcript from us oh, and cool. transfer that right into a local um, College establishment to yeah. get those credits transferred right in. So yeah. it's a really cool. Uh, yeah, see, I mean, working on commercial side of things yeah. and here, I, I have to say, yeah, because it's it's hard to keep up with your accreditations and things Absolutely. like that if you don't have the support of the employer. So it's so good to know and share that you know yeah. MWR does have that support. You're not Absolutely. stuck. You know, like people feel like that they're stuck sometimes. Yeah. You can take an opportunity see if you want to do a transition into a new field or something like the supports there absolutely is so absolutely is and that's the exciting part about being an instructor with the academy as well or with the school is we are constantly out working with our managers with our front line mm -hmm. everybody to find out exactly what those needs are right yeah. those training needs what kind of skills um are expected and wanted and so then we go back as instructors and actually fully design these courses and I mean we are working on uh, at this given moment I'm working on three different courses oh, which wow. is really exciting um, that are very technical functional trainings focused around it's kind of like a series of trainings focused around employee performance plans and to awesome. help out employees with um, being able to not only meet but exceed their expectations and their mm -hmm. accomplishments within their careers and it's and awesome. helps out the managers on how to actually promote that and coach that for that service of culture so it's outstanding awesome so, yeah. awesome well dan thank you so much for sharing that awesome information with us and uh we'll hopefully get get our team on board excellent <laughs> well thank you